If you are a person who stutters, then you are a covert stutterer. I'll tell you why. Fear of speech, hiding my speech impediments and pretending to be fluent, it's all a big part of stuttering. And for us, for people who stutter, it is stuttering actually. You see, other people see our stuttering as our physical speech impediments, the external part of it. And we see stuttering through the lens of fear of speech, through hiding and avoidance behaviors. That's the inside of stuttering. That's how we see it, how we feel. And we are masters of that. Each of us, at some point, has found itself in that box, in that shell. This is stuttering. And fear of speech by hiding and avoidance behaviors, they go hand in hand with not doing what I want, not saying what I want. Actually, these are the pieces, the parts of the one and the same thing. We give in to our fear. And sooner or later, we get sick of that. We realize that we don't want to live our whole entire life like that. This is not the right way. Something strikes us and we realize, we decide that we want to live freely. We don't want to be a slave to that blackmailer. Because stuttering is like a blackmailer who knows some secret, some bad truth about us and who's telling don't do it or I'll tell everybody the truth. And the truth is bad, we don't want everybody to know. So we follow the instructions, we keep moving this way, but we're always ready for a rebellion against that blackmailer, bad guy. And there are actually two ways out. First is to start speaking with your speech impediments, to be open about it, what is called an over stuttering. And second, find a way, try to find a way to stop stuttering. So the first one is like telling everyone the truth. And the blackmailer is going like, what? You told everyone the truth? And you go, yeah, I told everyone the truth. So the blackmailer, the bad guy, loses all his power, right? No power. It's fast, great way. The downside is that he can come up tomorrow or the next time we go to speak to somebody new or we get into some situation where we have, again, a choice what to do, to be open about it or to fall back to our previous position to our stuttering shell. Now, I'm not a great expert in that over stuttering thing. I've met some awesome people at National Stuttering Association Conference who were very open and who are very open about their stuttering. I was truly amazed and I still want to know more about that. I've always been more about finding ways how to stop stuttering and that second option uh, always included and involved for me the first option because with the training speech which was slower and it was kind of awkward it was absolutely clear and uh, you get open about the fact that you do stutter you have to admit that and everyone can see that and second you are open about your effort to stop stuttering so for me it was like getting double open double overt about stuttering the second option was also helpful to me because 
it gave me additional encouragement why I should get open because I'm getting free from stuttering so it gave me additional reason why I was doing it again I respect both ways both options are brave daring and um, courageous now let's come back to being covered is it bad or good I would say three things first it's obviously bad because our life is guided from a place of fear from the place of not doing something we're always instructed not to do something so our life should be guided from a place of abundance and possibilities so that's a bad thing second it's a good thing why and how in the world it might be good you're asking well as long as I stay covered I still believe I still hold on to that dream I hope I search for fluency I still have a potential to get free from stuttering completely I have an opportunity to go both ways I can choose either of these ways right I can choose any of these options when we choose acceptance I'm not a great expert in that but that's what I see from my observation we find it very liberating in the way how we feel about stuttering um, we also feel improvement with our fluency but we most of the time close the door for the second option for getting free from stuttering and there are two objective reasons for that first on a very physical level we stutter more so we gather those stuttering experiences into our muscle memory and our automated stuttering speaking pattern gets stronger and stronger we get deeper into that on a physical level on emotional level what happens is we desensitize stuttering so we don't feel that bad about stuttering anymore and that's a good thing but that is why we kind of don't need to change anything dramatically drastically we agree with ourselves that this is fine so covert stuttering is bad it also can be good and the third answer it's just natural you see it's in our guts the desire to stay safe we don't want to be exposed to negative feelings and emotions that's absolutely natural that's absolutely okay and again everyone every person who stars has found itself there no doubt my wish to you is that you don't stay there for too long life is short don't put it off you have something to accomplish in your life and you can do it while sitting in the shell and getting outside the shell means either acceptance or finding ways how to stop stuttering and both options are courageous both options are a hero's journey both options are something we can be proud of so covert stuttering is it bad or good what do you think share your thoughts in the comments below the video for more videos you can head over to freefromstutter.com blog subscribe to this youtube channel join free from stutter facebook group and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video